Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a plan with me for you guys and it's for the week of March 4th through March 10th. This is actually going to be a rewind spread, um, meaning that this week is obviously long over, but I'm memory planning or um, more like journaling the things that have happened during this week and I keep track of everything that I do on the notes app of my phone so that I just reference it when I plan. And for this week I have a really pretty spring kit from Planning Like a Pro. This was kindly sent to me by the shop owner. Um, I believe her name is Shani. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And I just thought this kit was so perfect for spring. I really wanted to pull it in. So here we've got the eight full boxes and the quote box here says hello there. So I'm going to use that in the top corner. And then on this page, we have like all of the icons. We have some text stickers, these little flags. We have a movie marquee, some deco date dots, and then like quarter boxes in this bottom corner. Here we have the bottom washi and the washi strips. And one thing I love about her format is that in the top corners of every page, she has like some little functional icons in the top so that, um, you know, there's just like no space wasted on any of the pages. Here we have the glitter headers. We have um, headers and then the date covers. On this page, we have all of the boxes. So we've got the quarter boxes. I think these are third boxes as well as the half boxes, which come both in like a solid pattern and a um, floral pattern. And then the last sheet here has the um, heart check flags. We have the weekend banner, which is this really pretty script that says, hello weekend. We have some headers, some little things, sidebar stuff, and then two, um, two ombre heart checklist. And then again, she's got little things stashed in the corner. So we've got like paper clips and then like three heart, or I'm sorry, three arrow checklist. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, this kit is really pastel in color and I'm just loving that little pop of yellow. I think it's so, so perfect for spring. So I'm really excited to um, plan with this kit and I hope you guys will join me for the planning. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to do something a little different. The two strips that came in the kit were on the thinner side, so I decided to leave a sliver of white space in between them. I feel like I've seen other planners do this before, like maybe Mandy from Mandy Dreams, and um, I really like how that turned out, actually. I think it brought in more white space to the spread, and because I am a white space planner, it kind of balanced out really well. I put down the quote box in the top corner, and then I also placed down flags to cover up the flags in my Erin Condren planner. I decided to add a small piece of deco to each of the flags just to add a little something and then um, I placed down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams to separate out my quote box from the rest of the sidebar. I used a habit tracker from the kit to track my working out as I usually do and that brush lettering pen I'm using is the Pilot Brush Pen. I will leave that link down below so you can purchase off of Jet Pens if you would like to try it out. It's definitely one of my favorites at this time. And then I put down a quarter box with a scallop checklist to mark my happy moments and another quarter box with the Monday through Sunday tracker from the kit to track my dinners. This has been the way that I have been doing my sidebar for a while now, so um, it probably looks really familiar. And then moving to Monday, I first put down this bow header. This is actually from Planning Like a Pro as well. It came in a little sampler sheet that she um, sent along. And then I used one of the third boxes in the kit with a coffee sticker from Fox and Pip to mark that I got my coffee Monday. As usual, I always need a boost of energy um, on Monday mornings. And then Monday was a super busy day. Um, during this month, I think the whole month of March I was just like go 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 and so I put down this super tired mochi from Mochi Kichi to mark that I was pretty much just non-stop all day. I then put down a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting I had that afternoon and then I placed down the full box which is so pretty that is one of my favorite full boxes in the kit. It's like a floral heart on this like pale yellow background. I just think it's so perfect for spring and um, underneath that I just marked that I worked out when I got home. The shoe sticker is from Paper and Milk and then we also booked our flights to San Antonio that night so I pulled in a book flights sticker from a travel sheet by Hello Petite Paper. I placed down a full box at the bottom of Tuesday, and then I decided for this week I wanted to pull in Simply Gilded Washi, so I used the pink one with the gold foil, and I believe it's the 10 millimeter if I'm not mistaken, um, so I decided to pull it in every single day. Um, I actually chose to not use any other foils this week. Um, I've kind of been taking a break from foils recently, and don't get me wrong, I really, really love foils, but I just kind of decided I wanted to take a break and slowly reincorporate them back to my spread, so um, for 
for this week, the only foil that will be pulled in is the Simply Gilded Washi. But anyways, at the top of Tuesday, I put down a header. The Remember Script sticker, I think, is from uh, K Stickers Co. And then I put down that quarter box with a bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark that we had minimum day on Tuesday. So for this week, because it was parent-teacher conferences, we had minimum day Tuesday through Friday, and I decided to mark them all with those bows um, throughout the week. And then I put down the alarm clock sticker from the kit to mark a meeting, and I had another IEP that afternoon, so I used another half box with an IEP flag, again from Lily Grove Designs, to mark that meeting. In the remaining space, I put down a to-do header and I cut up a scallop checklist into three hearts to mark some things I did when I got home. And one of the things was working out, so I placed down this workout girl sticker from Paper Princess Plans, and I just love that girl. And she also matched the color of the kit super well. Before moving to Wednesday, I decided to put down a to-do script sticker over the header just because the color is so pastel that the um, original text was kind of hard to see. On Wednesday, I started with a third box and again put down a bow from um, Sticky Fingers Co. to mark minimum day. Next, I put down this full box with the succulents shelf and um, on Tuesday, or I'm sorry, on Wednesday, I decided to treat myself to lunch. So I got some Thai food takeout and also picked up some boba. Um, because it's been such a crazy month, I just figured I would um, treat myself a little bit on this day. And both of those stickers are from Hazel Sticker. I then put down a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi and pulled in a quarter box from the kit. Um, I placed down this like tired mochi from Mochi Kichi again to mark that I ended up staying super late at work. I think I had a ton of reports to finish. And um, before I went home, I checked my PO box for Happy Mail. So I used that large Happy Mail sticker from Very Jenny Co. Next, I put down a third box with a planner sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that I was researching some bullet journals on this night um, because I wanted to buy a journal for my travel spreads. I did upload my first travel plan with me, so if you're interested in watching that, um, definitely go check it out. Um, but yeah, on this night, I think I was just doing my research because there's so many different options out there. And then at the end of the night, I just relaxed. So I used a little icon from the kit to mark that. Moving to Thursday, I first started with a quarter box and another bow paper clip from Sticky Fingers Co. And then I used a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi with another third box to mark that I got coffee from our new staff lounge that day. And that coffee sticker is from Toffee Bananas and it's so perfect because we have a Keurig machine. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but um, so it does kind of look like that, although not quite as cute. And then I used a full box underneath that and then a half box with an IEP flag to mark an afternoon meeting that I had. That night, my boyfriend and I did date night, so um, to mark that, I actually decided to pull in this lettering sticker from Love Shira, but the icon that came with it didn't really match the color of the kit, so I just cut it out, and then I placed down a piece of deco from the kit instead, and at the end of the night, we just binged on Netflix, so I put down two strips of washi, and that TV sticker is from Brandy's shop. When I got to Friday, I decided that I wanted to move the blue quarter box onto Friday instead, so I lifted that up. And for Thursday, I ended up replacing it with a strip of washi from the kit. Again, that bow paper clip sticker is from Sticky Fingers Co. And um, on Friday, I first started by putting down a washi strip and I lettered today on there just to make my own little header. Um, I replaced that sticker that I peeled up from Thursday. And then on Friday, of course, I had to pick up my morning coffee as usual. That coffee cup sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. And I wrote Friday coffee in like this kind of block lettering, but I didn't like how it looked at all. So I ended up um, whiting it out and putting it on a quarter box instead. I still didn't really like how it turned out, but I didn't want to waste that quarter box, so I just dealt with it. For some reason this week, I was not liking my handwriting at all, but I know we're always a little bit more critical of our own work, so I know that's just part of it. And um, underneath that, I used a laptop sticker from the kit to mark a meeting. I put down another strip of Simply Gilded Washi and cut up a heart checklist into three hearts to mark some things that I did at work that day. I pulled in that really pretty pen sticker that's from Planning Like a Pro as well. And um, underneath that, I put down a full box, the floral one. And because it's hard to read writing that's on a floral pattern box, I ended up putting a quarter box over that so I could write on it. And um, we decided to get boba that evening. So I pulled in a boba sticker from Paper and Milk. And then the other trick that I found to working with like a very busy patterned full box is to use text stickers because they tend to stand out better. So I pulled in this Target trip sticker from Bookish Plans. Those are new in my collection. And I also pulled in a credit card sticker from Sparkly Studio to mark um, that we bought a ton of stuff at Target, of course, half of which we didn't really need. 
And at the very bottom, I pulled in this yellow quarter box with a film clapper sticker from Mandy Dreams to mark that I filmed when I got home. Moving to the weekend, I first started by layering some washi strips at the top, and because there were different sizes, I did have to trim down the one on Sunday to make it the same size. I layered over it the Hello Weekend banner that came in the kit. Again, it's this really dainty script writing that I really like. So the first thing on Saturday is I put down this full box with the adorable hedgehog. It's like the cutest thing ever wearing a little flower crown. And then I used a YouTube binge sticker from Love Shira on top of that, just because there was a little bit of empty space. I then put down a to-do header and cut up a three heart checklist to mark some places that we went. We had to do some errands. We stopped by quite a few nurseries because we were looking for a gift for a friend. And um, so I pulled in this really cute potted plant sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, which is so perfect to mark that. And then um, that night we were going to a birthday party event. So I put down a quarter box with a makeup sticker from Chasing Chels to mark that I had to get ready. And on the third box I just put down, I marked um, that it was our friend's birthday. So we went and celebrated with him. Um, that cake sticker is from Simply Me Kish. I then put down a three heart checklist to mark some of the places that we went and got food. Um, so we got some ice cream, we got beers, and then also um, pizza. At the very end of the night, we found this new place. They have this truffle porcini mushroom pizza that is so amazing, and we've already gone back to get some more because it was just too good. Um, and anyways, before I moved to Sunday, I realized that I forgot to use a Simply Gilded washi strip on Saturday, so um, I lifted up the Getting Ready sticker and replaced it with a strip of washi instead. Moving to Sunday, I first put down the washi strip at the top, and then Sunday was daylight savings day, um, which means that we had to adjust our clock, and for spring, we have to go ahead an hour, which is fine on Sunday because I don't have work, but it's really difficult the rest of the week because instead of waking up at 6 a.m. as I usually do, it is more like waking up at 5 a.m., which is super hard, but on Sunday, I don't mind at all. I actually love that it stays brighter um, later in the day, so anyways, that heart eye sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co., and then and I had a pretty lazy morning that day. So I put that on, I think it's a third box. Um, that lazy sloth is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I just got those and I love them so much. It's so cute. Um, I put down a full box underneath that. And then I just did a lot of little things um, for the rest of the day. And so instead of marking them separately, I just decided to use a checklist. Um, so I put down a quarter box and included four heart checklists underneath that. Um, on the quarter box, I just put Sunday's list because Again, it was just like a few things that I had to get done. And one of the things was groceries, which we always tend to do on Sundays. So I pulled in this grocery sticker from Paper and Milk. That is it for the week, and as usual, I'm just ending the spread by filling out my sidebar. Um, this week, I actually tracked my happy moments every day, so it was easy to fill that in. And then um, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. I do have quite a lot left over as this kit came with six pages, so a lot of stickers to work with. And yeah, that is it for my spread this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it's so perfect for spring. I love, love, love these pastel pink, yellow, and blue colors. I think I mentioned everything in the video, but if I forgot anything, or if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave me a comment. Um, as usual, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.